Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could strum through and kind of play through Collard Greens by Schoolboy Q. And we're going to start out with kind of that bass line, but we're going to end up capoing this on 4th fret to kind of match the recording. But you can start out open D, and then open A three times, and then we play open D, and then 3rd on the A string, and then 3rd fret on the low E string three times. So we got a D, A, 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 D, C, G, G, G. It's kind of that bass line that, that kind of goes through the whole song. And that could be a cool way to kind of intro this tune. Now if you wanted to back that lick up with chords, you'd start on a D minor chord. And then we play D minor. First finger goes to the high on the first fret. Second finger on the G string, second fret. And the third or the fourth finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D minor chord. Now kind of back up that, that D, A, A, A part of the bass line. And then from there, we can kind of go to a C major chord. And we play C major. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret. Second finger on the D string on the second fret. And third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. And that would kind of be for that open D. And then the three of kind of the bass line. And then that third fret on the low E string, we could kind of back up with a G major chord. And then we play G major. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret. Second finger on the low E string on the third fret. And the third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. It sounds really, really happy. So if you wanted to kind of play just the chords through it, you'd have D minor, C, G, D minor, C, G, D minor, C, G. Now, a lot of times with a song like this, though, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. One of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the D minor and just tried that a lot. You have down, down, up. just a down, down up on each of those chords. Actually, we'll get to it, it would happen a little bit faster. So we tried it that way. We have D minor, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, G, down, down, D minor, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, G, down, down, up. Or you can even work that C, A, G is kind of a down, G with a down, up, up, down, if you wanted to, too. So you'd have D minor, down, down, up, up, down, C with a down, G, down, up, up, down, D minor, down, you may want to add to the song too is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down you can throw in a bass note for the chord so on the d minor you'd have the d string for your bass and on the c you'd have an a string for the bass and on the g you'd have the low e string for the bass so another way to work it would be doing the d minor with kind of a bass down up up down c with an a bass down up g with low e bass down up d minor the d bass down up up down c with an a bass down up g with low e bass down up, d minor the d bass down with an A bass down, up G with low E bass down, up. or you can even work it as kind of the D minor the bass down, up, up, down, C with a bass, G down, up, up, down, D minor the D bass down, up, up, down, C with an A bass, G down, up, up, down, up, kind of through that part. Now something else, if you're a little bit quicker, you could kind of work the D minor as kind of a down, and then a down, down, up, and then hit a C with a down, down, up, and then G with a down, down, up. They kind of work pretty cool too. So you have D minor, down, C, down, down, G, down, down, G, my down, 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 C, down, down, G, down, down, G, my down, 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 C, down, down, G, down, down, G, my down, 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 C, down, down, G, down, down, up. Or you could add basses to that and have D minor the D bass, down, down, C with an A bass, down, G with low E bass, down, D minor the D bass, down, down, C with an A bass, down, G with low E bass, down, G minor the D bass, down, down, C with an A bass, down, G with low E bass, down, G minor the D bass, down, down, C with an A bass, down, G with low E bass. Is to play along with Schoolboy Q though, instead of starting on a D minor chord, it's actually starting on an F sharp minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on fourth fret, and now your D minor is really an F sharp minor, your C is really an E major chord, and your G major is really a B major chord. But you may still want to kind of start it off with kind of that bass line, actually, kind of, and a lot of people go, oh my gosh, it's collard greens, I love collard greens. 
and I, I really do love collard greens. Um, but, but or <laughs> you could work it as kind of a strum idea, and you could have D minor with the down, down, up, up, down, C, down. to that and have to remember the bass down up up down C the A bass down G with low E bass down to my E bass down up up down C the A bass down G with low E bass down to my E bass down up up down C the A bass down G with low E bass down up or you could kind of work at that that is kind of that that's down on the C and G with the down up up down up I mean so you'd have to remember the D down down up up down C down G down up Basis to that and have D minor with the D bass down up, up down C with an A bass G down up, up down D minor with the D bass down up, up down C with an A bass G down up, up down D minor with the D bass down up, up down C with an A bass G down up, up down up. Or if you're kind of digging on that other feel, you could work D minor with the down, down, down C with the down, down G down. down. Basics of how you can strum through collard greens by Schoolboy Q. So good luck!